Good morning, people of God. I want to believe that the Lord indeed has been our shepherd. I want to believe that God has dealt well with us and our hopes and our trust are continually in him. Amen. In our meditation this morning, we'll look at the Lord's vindication. We'll look at the Lord's guidance and we'll take our readings from Psalm 26, then Daniel chapter 6, and then Revelation chapter 8. Psalm 26, Daniel chapter 6, and then Revelation chapter 8. Uh, we'll draw a little on Daniel, on the Daniel chapter 6. And Daniel chapter 6 talks about Daniel in the lion's den. I want to believe that we all remember the story. I want to believe that we all know how the story came about. But then I'll share a few moments to, to um, recap a bit. I told that at at the time that um, King Darius was 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 ruling over 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 Babylon over Jerusalem, he 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 appointed some people to help him rule, and among these people was Daniel. I think the the there were three there were three people that were were appointed to help Darius rule and. Um, in in verse verse three, it says that now Daniel so distinguished himself among the chief ministers and the satraps by his exceptional qualities that the king planned to set him over the whole kingdom. At this, the chief ministers and the satraps tried to find grounds for charges against Daniel in his conduct of government. But then they were not able to, to do so. They could not find no corruption in him because he was trustworthy and neither corrupt nor negligent. And, and, that, is, and that is something that I want to point out. It says that, one, the king, the king, the king sought to... to um, Daniel had distinguished himself so much and the king sought to make him a chief minister. To make him the chief amongst the three people that he has he has chosen, and it didn't go well with them. And when we when we come down to verse verse four, it says that the reason why the king decided to put him in charge of all things, or the reason why he distinguished himself, was because one, he was trustworthy; two, he was neither corrupt nor negligent. Now, many of us are put in positions in life. Some of us have things we do in church. Some of us have things we do in, in the house. Some of us have things we do in the family. Some of us have uh, responsibilities given unto us at workplaces in our offices. Now, Daniel so distinguished himself that the king decided to make him chief amongst all of them. Perhaps at your workplaces, perhaps at, at church, perhaps in your families, you, you are being made chief over all these people, but the question you want to ask yourself is, is it, is it really a proper distinguishing? It says that they, they found no corruption against him because he was trustworthy, because he was corrupt, because he was never corrupt, and he was never negligent. Yes, we might, we might be doing well in our, in our leadership positions, but can we, say, can, we, can we say boldly with Daniel, can we say boldly that we are neither corrupt. Can we say boldly that we are neither negligent? Can we say boldly that, that we are very trustworthy? And these are, the, these, are, these are some points that, these are some attributes of Daniel that I, I want to point out to all of us, especially we that we've been handed over our positions, especially we that roles have been given unto us. Yes, things are not going to, yes, our followers might not be, might not be helping. Yes, our followers might not be, might be making our, our, our work very difficult. But the Bible says that Daniel distinguished himself so much so that the king decided to put him above all things. This morning, it is my prayer for us, for us this morning, for all of us, especially for, for our leaders, for our leaders in the church. May, may we search, may we sought to distinguish ourselves above all things. It is, it is difficult to note that. Yes, you, you might have taught them how to sing, and then on the day that they are singing, they are singing out of pitch. It, it, is, it is difficult to note that 
we might have done all the rehearsals, but we come and, and we are not able to do it. Or you are even calling them for rehearsals, but, but they are not coming. Bible says that they're not distinguished himself. It is, it is the grace of God that is going to help us distinguish ourselves. And, and I pray for that same grace upon us this morning. May, 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 we, may we always decide to distinguish ourselves. May we always, in, 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 our, in our leadership acts, in our going about, in our interactions with other people, and most especially with that responsibility that has been given unto us, may we, may we search the Lord, may we ask, may we, may we hope and pray and search that we are able to distinguish ourselves. One, we are able to be trustworthy. Two, we are able to never be corrupt and we are able to never be negligent. And truly, we shall, we shall be able to distinguish ourselves. Truly, our acts will, will be seen by all. And I'm saying that after all these things, the, the other chiefs were, were jealous. They were not happy that Daniel was being distinguished. They were not happy that Daniel was being favored. And so they plotted against him. Yes, you might have decided to, to do what is right. Yes, you might have decided to, to distinguish yourself. Yes, you might have decided to, to be blameless. You might have decided to, to be trustworthy. You might have decided not to be corrupt, not to be negligent. But it doesn't come for free. In Daniel, we are told that they plotted against him so much so that they made the king decree that no one should serve any other god than the god that the king built. I don't know how your your I don't know how your enemies will fight you. I don't know how those people that I'll call them competitors, those people that are fighting with you other positions will I don't know what plans they have over you, but if you are able to distinguish ourselves, you are able to look unto God, if you are able to accept that God is indeed our king, he shall vindicate us. And you are told that even after all these things, even after all these traps that the other, the other ministers set against Daniel, he never for once went back on God. He never for once looked back. He never for once bowed down to the, the God that, that the, the, king, the king built. And in... in in Psalm 26, in Psalm 26, it says that, Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trusted in the Lord, and I have never faulted. I want to believe that this is the same prayer that Daniel prayed. And so when, when um, he, he was caught to, to have bowed down to God, when he was caught to have gone against the decree of God, when he was arrested and even put in the lion's den. I want to believe that this is the prayer that he said unto God. He said unto God that, Father, I have decided to, be, to distinguish myself. I've decided never to be corrupt. I've decided never to, to be negligent. I've decided, never, I've decided to be trustworthy. I've decided to, to obey your word. I've decided to lead by your principles. And so, vindicate me today. I'm sure that when he was put in the lion's den, that's why he said, vindicate me. That the lions may not devour me, they vindicate me. That whatever trap that they set before me, they shall not catch me. And even when they, when even when these traps are, 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 are set, and then I fall into it, may 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 it not be, may I not suffer these things, but may he, you know, turn them into into blessings. And so that is that is my my prayer for us this morning. It says that the Lord vindicated Daniel. The Lord, even even though he was put in the lions, then. The lions didn't scratch him. Never for once did the lions hurt him because he decided to distinguish himself in the Lord. And at the end of the day, the Lord, the Lord vindicated him. At the end of the day, the Lord prevented all their plans from coming to from, 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 from fruition. And, and that is what I want, to, I want to speak on to us this morning. Yes, yes, the, the trials may come. Yes, the backbiting may come. Yes, the pulling downs may come. Yes, you might have decided to to do the things that we are supposed to do. We might decide not to be corrupt. But they're going to say things. They're not going to push things. They're going to accuse us. But whichever way, we are always, whichever way, Daniel is reminding us, or I want to remind us this morning that no matter what, the Lord himself is going to vindicate us. And so may we always continue to put our trust in him, especially in our leadership positions, especially in the things that we do, especially in the jobs that we do, especially in our interactions with people. May, may, we, may, we not, may we not fall to their plans of them. May we not fall to their accusations. May we not fall to their plans. May we not fall to, to all the things that, that they are planning against us. But in all things, may we put our trust in God. In all things, like Daniel, may we decide to be upright. May we decide 
to distinguish ourselves. And truly, truly, the Lord will vindicate us. The world is, is, is not, it's not becoming a comfortable place to lead. It is becoming difficult day in and day out. But if we trust in the Lord, but if we decide to lean on him, truly he will vindicate us and we shall never be found wanting. Amen.